Mitchell Santner starred with 6 to 104 as New Zealand secured their first test series win in India, defeating the hosts by 113 runs on day 3 in Pune. Mitchell Santner's 6 to 104 leads New Zealand to a historic test series win in India, clinching a 113 run victory and ending India's unbeaten home series streak since 2012. Pakistan clinched a 2-1 test series win against England, highlighted by a 9-wicket victory in Rawalpindi, praised by Shaheen Afridi and Michael Vaughan. PCB chairman Mohsin Nakvi praised the national team's brilliant performance in their historic test series win over England, highlighting spinners Sajid Khan and Noman Ali's outstanding skill. Mitchell Santner took his second five-wicket haul as New Zealand reduced India to 178 for seven needing 181 runs for victory in the second test. After losing the series 1-2 to Pakistan, England's Ben Stokes acknowledged his team's failure to match the host's challenges in the final two tests. Pakistan claimed a 2-1 series victory over England, defeating them by nine wickets in Rawalpindi, with spinners Norman Ali and Sazid Khan dominating the match. New Zealand's Amelia Kerr is out of the ODI series against India after sustaining a quadricep injury. She will begin rehabilitation and return home on 27th October. Francisco Bagnaya of Ducati secured pole position at the Thailand Grand Prix with a remarkable 1.28.700 lap time, becoming the only rider besides Bastianini to break into the 1.28s. <music> British number 1 Katie Bolter lost in straight sets to Sofia Kenin, 6-4, 6-4, at the Pan Pacific Open, failing to reach the final. Alex D. Minor defeated Jakub Mensik 6-7, 2, 6-2, 3, 6-4 to advance in the Vilna Open, keeping ATP finals hopes alive. <music> Formula One's gunning body has denied McLaren's request to review Lando Norris' five-second penalty during the United States Grand Prix, dropping him from third to fourth place.